Hey everybody, Camper Van Kevin here. Well today, I leave Parker, Arizona. I have thoroughly enjoyed my stay here at uh, the Blue Water Casino, but it's time to move on. Thought we were expecting rain today, but we didn't get it, but we got wind instead. My whole RV's rocking. Woke me up this morning. Oh, there we go. It woke me up this morning about five o'clock. And it also woke up my buddy Moose. Uh, I got up my camera. Show you a little bit of that. Hey, good morning, everybody. It's about five in the morning. And uh, it's, it's, we've got rain that's supposed to come in here. And just a, a little bit, but uh, my whole RV is shaking violently back and forth with the wind. I've been in some heavy wind, but this is pretty strong. I'm at the, I'm at the Blue Water Casino. What I'm concerned most about is my motorcycle getting thrown over into the front of my RV. My buddy Moose, he woke him up. He come out and uh, he's going around checking for chairs and anything that's loose. We got up at the same time that woke us both up. So he's going around laying people's chairs down so they don't become projectile. There he is. Started up, threw our table over and our rugs over. But, uh, he saw me and he came over and I asked him, I said, hey, is that bike going to fall over? He says, no, I think it's good. I've been in some heavy wind. This is pretty incredible. One of the things about the desert. Yep, I hadn't made my bed. Today is laundry day, grocery day. It's, uh, black and gray water dump, dump, dump day. <laughs> so I got a few things to get done. I'm gonna sit here, I'm gonna drink the rest of my coffee first. Then I'll get with it. I'm gonna load the bike. And figure out which way I'm gonna go. Always fun loading Miss America. The motorcycle had quite a angle on it this time and I thought I could push it up there pretty easy not so much okay we got to pick up our stuff from the wind so I'll get this locked down people ask me from time to time how's all this holding up Adding these two extra arms legs onto this rack was a, a very good idea. And when, before I cinch it down, the top of that brake reservoir and this right here, putting it under there, I bet I couldn't put a piece of cardboard between the two. Tight fit. 
So the chances of me getting another motorcycle, I'll have to try it out first if I do. I started having a little bit of trouble. Um, cuts off with me about once a day. It always waits till I'm in traffic or somewhere I don't want it to cut off. And I kick it and it goes and starts right back up. Then the other day it didn't want to start. So I got on eBay, got this wind, and I ordered a, another CDI box. Well, it didn't fit. It was the wrong one. But after I plugged it all back together, I've been driving it day after day after day. Easy starting, hadn't cut off. I think I had a bad connection between the factory wiring and the factory CDI box. When I took it off, put the other one on or tried to, and then put the old CDI back on, I must have corrected something in the wiring. I think I had a loose connection. Maybe I got it now. I sure do enjoy having her, Ms. America, the motorcycle. No need to have a hat on this morning. Chances are pretty good it blow off. Now my cowboy hat has a string under it to hold it on there, but it probably choked me in this wind. Always hard saying goodbye. You make friends and you leave friends. Uh, I'll see you. I'll see you, Moose. Mo Moose is a good guy. See, I like Moose. His RV does smell like furniture, though. <laughs> I met Moose in uh, Craggy Wash a couple years ago. He's the kind of friend that's got your back and is loyal, even if you're wrong. It's hard to find a, a friend out here that's, <laughs> that's loyal and you can count on even if you're right. He's good people. My friend. I put my hat up here on the dash. Tucker knocked it off and stepped on it. Bent the <laughs> bent the rim, brim. Get this thing out. I have to straighten it out again later. Man, I'm sorry. It was an accident. It's okay, Tuck. I shouldn't have put it where you could have got got into it. And baby May Mays. Morning, Daddy. All right, let's get out of here. Ease on out. Make room for somebody else. Thank you, Blue Water Casino, for your hospitality. On the road again, like a band of gypsies, we go down the highway. We're the best of friends. Dun -na -dun -na -dun -na -dun -na -na on the road again. Hey, it could have been worse. Could have been Mr. Rogers' neighborhood. Beautiful day in the neighborhood. Oh, well, my hat's all messed up. <laughs> It's all good, Tucker. Man, what are we doing? Well, Tucker, I pulled him here at the grocery store. We're getting low on groceries. All right. You can make me get in the back, aren't you? I am. Out of sight, out of mind. Out of trouble for you. That goes for you too, Martini. I don't want to have to get in the back. Well, you are. Lucky we got a good parking spot. There's a camper van with flames and a yellow door. I guess he won't lose that in the parking lot. He'll know which one's his. Everybody's doing the best they can do. Actually, I kind of like the flames. I don't care for the yellow door. Don't ever make fun of nobody's rig. Right? Remember, I was in um, Cleveland, Georgia, and I told you about my first RV and how proud I was over it and I went to a campground and old man standing outside making fun of it when I was about 
I don't know, 19, 20 year old crushed me. I was doing the very best I could do. So I know what it feels like. So don't make fun of nobody's rig. I mean, I do like it. I don't like the yellow door. Who knows, that sucker might be mint on the inside. I like the pipes on the bottom. Yeah. All right. Note to self, never put your hat where your dog can get step on it. I'll get it figured out. Man, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to, Daddy. It's my fault, Tucker, for putting it in your way. Even Ms. Gypsy's not perfect. Started scraping these stripes off and stopped. Waiting for warmer weather. Even the show cars at the, at the car shows, they're not perfect. I'll tell you a secret. I spent all my life trying to make things perfect. And it's one thing, one of the things that kept me from being happy. Okay? Perfection does not exist. In nature it does, but not anything that man puts his hands on. Perfection does not exist. I'm just saying. When you can let that go, you start to enjoy life a little bit better and be happier. It doesn't mean, you know, not to have nice things or try to keep them nice. But don't obsess about it like I used to. Too much? <laughs> Big day here at the propane station. Everybody and his brother and his mother are here. We are too, Daddy. That's right. We are too. They're already up there standing in line. I'll pull on. So is the propane expensive? Well, let's see, baby. Two forty nine. Not so bad. Where do you see that, Dad? Man, there's some people out here. My name's Tuck Tuck. The terrible. I'm in charge of security at Miss Gypsy, the RV. You get too close, you've been warned, I will bite you. Thank you, Tuck. You could have just barked. That was more fun. What do you think those, uh, is that some type of radar? These things right here? There's two of them? Now that's the cell phone tower right there. What are those? We got some over here too. $25. I think I've got propane and about three weeks. I was a little bit low, below. I was a little bit below half tank. Laundry. There's just no way to escape chores like laundry. Man, I hate laundry. Tucker, you don't ever do laundry and you don't wear clothes. I got a vest. Yeah, but I wash it. You don't. Full laundry day. All the bed clothes. Cover off the couch. Tons of clothes. You got it made, Tuck. I know it. And I got to wash three dogs today. What's that on the floor? I just swept this RV ten times today.
Okay, got the laundry started. People always ask me, that couch must be in bad shape, huh? Reason to keep it covered? No, it's in pretty good shape. And that's the reason I keep it covered. He likes to dig and scratch on linens. Just saying, Tucker. There's a picture. There's another picture. <laughs> See what I mean? Washing the bed linens. He's got to dig and dig. I got to say, I don't think I like this mattress, this foam. But I gave $500 for it when I bought the ProMaster van. <clears throat> so I'm trying to get some use out of it. A little too close to it. It just, um, it sleeps good, but it's hard to, that's something you don't see a whole lot. It sleeps good, but it's hard to get in and out of it. It's a, it's a pain. I like a, uh, I like a real firm mattress. So I'm not sure how much longer I'm going to keep it. Maybe for a while. i tell you what, I'm not going to buy another one. Tucker, don't you mess up our bed. Thank you, Martinis. You keep him straight. Good baby. Wouldn't hurt for me to wash this topper. It's too late now. Can I have no privacy? Well, you're there when we go. It doesn't matter, Tuck. I like a little bit of privacy. You ever think about shutting the door? Smart butt. Well, we've made it to our new campsite. Kind of windy. Yeah, don't don't miss any rock ping opportunities, Tuck. Got some pretty flowers. I think the desert is very beautiful in its own way. Y'all finding something interesting over there? I think that old coyote peed over here, Daddy. And Tucker peed on top of it, and I can't tell too good. I, I smell a coyote. So I'm going to keep y'all inside, keep you on a leash. Tucker, you pee on Martini, I'll bang you in the head. Well, I got to make up the bed, put up the socks and the towels and the underwear, all kind of stuff. Clean up the house. Back out in the desert again. It's a couple people where I'm at, but not many. Just a bunch of gravel and rocks. Well, it's evening now. And I have camped here before. I just want to show you my light setup. I uh, I have to put lights out here. We have a lot of mice at this camp location. So, oh, my rope light's not on. Let me turn it on. Bear with me. All right, there we go. So I have a solar rope light that flashes. The mice don't like light. That's what I'm told anyway. That light there is a motion sensitive. And I've, I've seen mice crawl under there and set that off. And then I have one of these small, get these anywhere at the dollar store or whatever. They're about three or four dollars. They're solar. And I set it up here in my engine bay. And uh, if anything moves, it goes off as well. So I've got these lights and I've got all my wires and stuff sprayed with uh, this capsaicin. The rats won't chew on it. 
So, also I'll leave my hood open. All in attempts to keep the mice out of here. Let's hope it works. Well, thank you for hanging out with us today. Just a normal day of getting groceries and propane and finding another campsite. Just a day in the life. But, uh, yeah. I think that's enough for this video. So, I'm going to go ahead and end it. Where? Right here. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Hey, we will see you again soon. You guys take care. Bye-bye. privacy well you, you, you're there when we go it doesn't matter Tuck I like a little bit of privacy you, you ever think about shutting the door <laughs> <laughs>